Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. Friends, I got some messages or mails. They want the videos on real time issues or tickets. So first of all, I will discuss what is tickets or issues. So ticket means problem raised by end user when they use the real time live system means when they use the production server that time they face any problem that problem they raise as it issues or tickets the most common terminology is ticket the problems which is raised by the end user that known as tickets or issues so what is the process to raise this tickets so the tickets which is raised by the end user will be posted first to the help desk team if already solution is available so they post that solution or then that ticket will be posted to the technical team who are working in the support team. you will have a ticketing tool just like the mail interface when the ticket is posted, it will have in different states like new, open and close. What do you mean by new, open and close? So new means ticket is new and open means someone is working on that ticket and close means ticket is resolved. So now we are going to discuss how the support team will resolve these tickets. So based on the priorities, ticket will be resolved. There are three level of the priorities like low, normal and high. High means mostly it should be resolved in three to five business hours. And normal means it will go for 2 to 3 days. And low means there is no time bar. So depending on the situation, we need to resolve the tickets. Now friends, today I am going to discuss some real time issues or tickets. Before going into that, I would tell in each and every topic which I have discussed in a previous videos, in that videos I explained all the process and the issues which is faced by the end users. So I suggest you watch my previous videos carefully. In all the videos I discuss the process and the issues also. So today I am going to discuss some more real time issues or tickets. Welcome to Learn SAP FICM. Friends, today we are going to discuss some real time issues related to check management. In a previous video at the time of APP configuration, we have completed the configuration steps of check related management. So before starting I request you all if you like the video so to subscribe and share the videos with your friends so let's start today's session today I'm going to share some decodes by which you can solve your check related issues the first is FCH5 by this decode you can create the check manually for any payment document for example you have posted the payment document earlier now later you want to create the check manually check for that payment document which you have posted already. So we can use the T code FCH5 to create a manually check for that any payment document. So let's go to SAP screen and see how to perform this. So here I am going to run the T code FCH5. Press enter. So this is the T code by which we can create the check manually. Here you have to select the payment document against which document you want to create the check. So first of all we will just see any payment document by which for which we are going to create a check. 
So I am going to run the decode FBL1 end to see the payment document. Like I am selecting a cleared item. So these are the documents. Payment. We have made the payments. For example, we are going to create the check for this Royal and Company. This is the document number. For this 50,000 amount, I want to create a check for this printer. So just go to SAP screen and mention this document number. I am just going to copy this document number and paste it in this payment document number. Now give the other information like payment, paying company code, fiscal year, select your house bank by pressing F4 key, you can select your house bank which we have assigned at the time of configuration. So in a previous video we have completed these all configurations and here we have to give the next check number which we want to create. So to find the check number series, we can see the check related information like the number series, what is the number series and how many check number is used by the user. So to find that information, how to find this next check number which we have to create manually. You cannot give any other number because we have already assigned the check lot into system. Accordingly, we have to pick that next check series check number series. So the T code which we use to check the check lot or to check the number series, check number series, we will use the T code FCHI. In a FCHI we have created the check lots and number series. So just give the information like paying company code, house bank, account ID by pressing F4 key you can select it and just click on display. Because we are not going to change anything, we just want to display. So these are the check notes which we have created in a previous video. At the time of APP configuration, we have created this check related configurations. Like first check lot number, check number series and this is the check which we have used. So now we have to give the another number for this check. So like we have used 96001. So next number we are going to use now. 96002. Just press enter and here you can give some more details like these are the information is picked by your document number which we have mentioned in a previous window. Now give the payment date. Payment date is also taken by the this here the document date was 18th of May 2020. So it is automatically taken by this document number. Now currency is this and amount is this. Yes, you if you can see these are all correct information. So here you can mention the address and here you can mention the pay name and city and all things like city I am giving here <laughs> Good girl. Now just press enter and click on save. Now here you can see the message check Tata SBI K A1. This is your all house bank details and this is the check number which we have created now 96002 created manually. So like this you can create your check manually for your any payment document which you have paid for payment already made. So we will get back. So this is one of the T code which is used. for creating manually check for any payment document. Now if you want to see 
the check information. So we use the TCO FCH1. Here you can see the check related information like you have to give some only paying company code and select your house bank account ID and check number which you want to display. Give here and just click on enter. So now here you can see all the information related to your check which you made it like what is the amount of the check and what is the payment date and the pay details you can see all these information related to check. So this is the T code which is used for display check related information.